Okay, so in the last video, we had this functionality so that we can set the username for a particular message. But in this video, let's see how we can um, show the messages um, their sender. Okay, so underneath this message, we're going to identify whether it's the current user that sent that message. Okay, so let's go over to our main.js file in here. And what we need to do is we're going to modify the on connection um, function here. So you notice the part where in we're fetching all the messages, we're doing of uh, each on them. So let's do um, a check to see if this um, dot sender, since we're receiving a message from the browser, sorry, from the server, and um, it's going to be a list of objects, and each of them will have a sender property. So we're going to see if this sender equal to dollar dot cookie. And notice that that's where um, we're sending the chat, we're setting the chat name for um, the current user for each browser. If it's the same, it means that the current user is the one that um, sent that message. So instead of just setting, um, prepending a regular li tag, we're going to prepare an li tag with a specific class, um, which is badge, which is going to be um, badge, uh, sorry, label, and it's going to label um, success. Okay. And um, if the current user is not the one that sent the message, we're going to just send set in a regular li tag. Okay, so all the li tags with that user who sent the message are going to be green because label success applies a badge of green to a, an element. Okay, so let's go to the browser and refresh. As you can see, another try is the one that has been sent by the user. So it's going to be green. Now let's go to the Firefox one and then refresh. And the reason why the other ones are not having green is because um, before we implemented um, the sender setting of sender, all of those um, were empty. Okay, so let's just delete those messages, and they should not come up in the browser anymore. So it's just these two messages. So I refresh, so you can see. Okay, that works now. Has been sent by the browser um, Firefox. Let's go to Firefox and we refresh. That should be the one that's green. Okay, so it's, as you can see now, that's working. So one more thing. Let's um, make sure that any time that we also send a message that we are appending the badge um, feature there. Sorry, the label feature. So now in here, since this user is the one that sent the message, we're going to append the class here as well. Label, so label success. Okay. So in here, now let's um, refresh this. And I refresh this as well. So let's say, um, send message with label i'll just send that and as you can see we're giving that label um to that message as well so let's see how we can get around um, this issue here um, of having the messages on another on the same line so let's say another message i'll just send that so it seems we're not having that issue um on chrome here it's just Firefox that's giving us that issue. So let's see. Um, display inline. Okay, so one thing that we want to do is let's go to our index here and let's add in another style. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we're going to say label success. We want to force it to have a display um, block. Okay, so let's just do this there. So now when we come to Firefox and refresh, um, should so have the uh, label on their own line. So refresh. Um, so let's say inline block. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So that is not working as expected. Okay. We'll just leave it as block. Okay. It's not pretty, but uh, we just want it on um, on its own line. Okay, so um, so yeah, so that should work, and um, yeah, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial series. Um, the styling really here is not the focus of this tutorial. It's just to show that um, this user sent this message, and um, I hope you enjoyed the course because I did, and I'll thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you soon in another course. Cheers. Bye bye.